guys, um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to uh, connect to Xbox Live through your Mac. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, just a couple few steps. Um, yeah, so the reason I do this is because it saves you a lot of money. It saves you like 60 to $100. Um, and it's not too bad. It doesn't lag most of the time. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I've been using it for the last about six months, and uh, I don't have any dislikes about it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go along with the tutorial. Um, first, you want to go into the system preferences um, and get and go to network. And, like, it should, this should be connected up and it should have a little green dot here. Um, or it should be like, it should be there, but it should be like, it'll have this dot because it's not being used or it's not configured correctly. Um, you know, you just want to connect, connect on the device. It, it, it won't say Xbox 360, it'll say something different. Um, and after you do that, you just uh, set it as a Ethernet um, plug, and, you're gonna, and then you're going to change this automatically to manually, and type in the IP address 10.0.0.1, and subnet, subnet mask as 255.255.255.0. First, before you head over to the Xbox, you're gonna wanna after that you wanna save, and then you're gonna go to sharing. Um, you wanna click on internet sharing, and just check this box here. For internet sharing, it should be share your connection from airport, and then you should two computers using Ethernet. So once you have that done, you can exit out of this. Hit click save. After this, you are gonna head over to the Xbox. Hey guys, so um. When you get over to the Xbox, um, you can obviously tell I'm not connected to Xbox Live. Um, all you want to do is plug in the Ethernet cable into your um, computer. Make sure that's all plugged into the back of your Xbox and stuff. Um, then you want to go all the way over to System Settings. Um, and then you want to go to Network Settings, Wired, and Configure Network. Um, when you get to this, you're going to go in here, click Manual as 10.0.0.2 um, and you hit done um, and your subnet mask should be same thing as t um, all sub subnet masks pretty much are 255.255.255.0 um, and your gateway should be 10.0.0.1 so that's the easy stuff there. Um, as you can see, that's the gateway. Um, that's the easy stuff. Now, the DNS settings um, might be a bit harder. So when you go into this, um, you just click manual like the first one. Um, your primary DNS server, you're not, your primary DNS server should be your IP address. You can find that by going... Um, to what's my IP address dot com um, and I'll put a link in the description for that um, and it'll show you it it'll show you like IP information and it'll have it up there and that's what you want to enter for your primary DNS your secondary DNS server um, I don't have one this is one of my old that's one of my old ones um, if you have a router or something, um, whatever your your Wi-Fi router, your wireless router is, um, you should go to your wire uh, your router page um, or whatever. Pa it'll usually have like a page that you can go for for if you're offline. And uh, once you go into that, um, it's pretty easy. You just go to um, you look and see what uh, d or what. Um, servers and D your DNS, your primary DNS server is, um, what they're using, and um, you put that as your secondary DNS. And um, once you're done with that, um, I, don't even, you, I don't even think you need a secondary DNS, to tell you the truth, because I'm not using a, a, good, a real one. Um, so, yeah. But you need it put in there, so just put in some random numbers that fit the thing. 
And then after that, you can hit done. Um, and you don't need to do anything with your additional settings. It's fine. Um, just back back out and then test Xbox Live connection. So it'll sign you out and stuff. And this is where you it. And you just wait here. Sometimes it takes a while on the Xbox Live thing. Um, it is somewhat slow. It's just sometimes. I'm just not saying all the time. Like it depends if you have a high traffic rate on your on your network at the time. That's when usually it's slow. Um, or if um, your provider is really busy at the time. And you, this will pop up, but don't worry about it. All you want to do is hit cancel. Um, because it'll let you connect to Xbox Live, but it's not the, it's saying it's not the best connection. Um, however, I don't think it affects it. I think it's it's fine. So once you're done with that, you're connected to Xbox Live. You can back back out. I'm gonna sign in the Xbox Live here. I'll show you what happens. As you can tell, I'm connected to Xbox Live, so, yeah. So, yeah, you can communicate and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's just saved you 60 to $100. Um, if you need a written tutorial, I'll put one in the description. Um... Please subscribe if you want to hear more stuff on Xbox. Um, I am new and upcoming. Um, it's probably pretty soon I'm going to launch a... Um, just start launching out videos like crazy. Um, I think my next one is going to be how to open up a controller with this uh, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, Xbox 360 controller with a Phillips screwdriver, which I've done like three or four times. It's pretty easy. And that saves you like what ten dollars. So I think I should be named the money saver actually. So just please subscribe. Um, so peace. Uh, post your questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section below. Bye.